All right, welcome back. Tension as U.S. Army Special Forces arrives Nigeria. Well, what are they trying to do? Check out the details. Well, on Tuesday evening, the United States Army's Third Special Forces arrived in Nigeria. This was revealed in a statement released by the U.S. Mission in Nigeria on Wednesday evening. According to the statement, the U.S. Army Special Forces will participate in a two-month special boat service with the Nigerian Navy. The Nigerian Navy will be trained in counter-insurgency tactics on land and at sea by the Special Forces. The goal of the initiative is to increase security in the country. All right, and then as it is, the following was a portion of the declaration for two months u.s army green beret from the at third sf group will train with the at nhg navy today special boat service to combat insecurity and then extremists on land and at sea well the partnership between the united states and nigerian continues to promote regional and domestic security. Hashtag partnership, hashtag Nigerian Navy, hashtag at USSOCA Health. Well, however, the statement made no mention of where the training will be held probably to protect them. The arrival of the Special Forces comes in response to President Muhammadu Buhari's request that the United States of America Command AFRICOM headquarters be relocated from Germany to Nigeria or any other African country. All right, meanwhile, the U.S. Defense Department had previously stated that the AFRICOM headquarters could not be relocated to Nigeria, but that it would continue to provide adequate support to the country in order to end insecurity this is a welcomed development and then hopefully with the technicality of the region soldiers will be able to defeat the insurgents in no time all right and then as it is we are praying that peace would once again reign in the country and then according to reports the u.s soldiers have promised to end insecurity in nigeria within a few weeks by bringing down the heads of the leaders of the insurgents and the bandits alike. All right, okay, and then as it is, majority of people have actually reacted onto this one. All right, well, onto what has been gathered. It said that the U.S. Army and the Special Forces arrived Nigeria to do some stuff. And the majority of people have like, what is that thing? And then it has been that they are coming to end insecurity in Nigeria. Hmm, my brother, my sister, this is another one. All right, and then meanwhile, there's been a lot of reactions though onto this. And then according to what has been gathered, it has been said that nothing comes easy. Hmm, well, show us these dead body good liars. Okay, well, and then as it is, the leaders should be the first, well, one of the best news ever in Nigeria since 1960. This is what someone is saying right now. Well, it has been said that Shikawu is dead and the majority of people are like, try and show us the dead body. Don't just, don't keep telling us what is not it. We don't want any more propaganda. Tell us the truth. Show us evidence. And then that has been it. Okay, well, according to Michael Olua Mayowa, Imole said, well, may God continue to help them. Well, my advice is let our Nigerian government use this opportunity to join hands with the U.S. military to destroy insurgency. Hmm, that's another one. Well, so they came to train Navy and not soldiers, not police, not Air Force that are for land. Does insurgents 
live in the water that is another question olari what you has asked and uh, i was actually thinking of that also we are talking about insecurity in the land we are talking about insecurity in the country and then uh, we all know that you no know, these so-called bandits have been terrorizing the whole country most especially in the forest <laughs> we are think we were in fact uh, what we actually expecting should be that okay they are coming to you know invade the forest to send out or kidnap or destroy in fact anything they want to do from the forest that is what we are expecting not on the sea well and then i think somebody has just brought my notice to that anyway and then that has been it well according to chris quality says well u.s army is here to fight insurgency now shekau is dead british people are terrorists okay that's another one well charles jacob has said that god bless the almighty american one love keep us together okay well everybody with his different opinion onto this hmm well um the truth of been that anything that anybody wants to do this time around let it be done rightly yes let it be rightly done because as it is right now majority of people are expecting no more than what we are seeing right now well if the nigeria the american u.s army so to say right now are coming down to nigeria and they let it be that they are coming to fight the insurgents and all that and this one that they have said that in one week <laughs> my brother how possible is that that in one week that they are going to end all these form of you no know, boko haram killings and then the rest of it but now that shekau is dead according to what we have gathered so what is going to happen right now are they still going to keep you no know, fighting the insurgent while boko uh, shekau the leader of boko haram is no more well that has been a lot of you no know, questions they are giving us a lot of concern onto this and the majority of people have said it that well no well i say now today make we hear what jerry now today they talk say this kind of thing won't happen well some people are not even you no know, interested in all this because majority of people have been like i beg you that is how they'll be saying now today now today yes they back down they are coming to do all this to do that and of which we know that at the end of the day this set of people are still going to work against nigerians hmm. well our prayer is that the, the good lord will just arrest them so that they'll be able to solve this once and for all somebody is asking a question okay we who are the insurgents that you people are coming for hope oh, you people are not coming for the esn and the Odudua Republic, because now that you people are talking about insurgents, you people should know what you are doing, you know, uh -huh. and then that has been another one. Okay, according to Betty Choma, I said, uh, one of the best news ever in Nigeria since 1960, okay, and then someone is saying that, are you sure this is the news you want to hear? Are you sure it's one of the best news? Okay, well, according to something that way, it says, well, my advice is let our nigerian government used this opportunity to join hands with the u.s military to you no know, end insurgency to end an insecurity in nigeria uh, all right okay so they came to train navy and then not so just that's another one coming from olan rewaju or palemo all right okay well as it is according to according to king's lemila he said that after everything they should help us divide the country before they will go back oh my goodness hmm this one this one shook well my people that has been it on this one me well let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless